President Donald Trump is back. But he's not back on Twitter. He's not back tussling with the CNN journalists. President Donald Trump is back this time on Truth Social, the viral platform and app that uh, he created or the Trump Media and Technology Group created after President Trump left Twitter. So uh, Truth Social is, a, is an app that you can get only for iOS devices. That means Apple devices or the iPhone. It's not available uh, on uh, browsers like Safari, Firefox, or Chrome. And it is certainly not available for Android devices. So the only way to get on Truth Social would be to have an Apple device. Ladies and gentlemen, Digital World Acquisition Corporation closed the week at $51.40. And that represents quite a huge hike because at one point it was trading in the 30s, in the 30s. So um, you could have acquired the store for stock for $33.62 on uh, Tuesday or Monday last week. But things have changed and now the stock is trading almost double what it was when last, last week began. As of this recording, President Donald Trump has 2.33 million followers on the Truth social media platform. And that number is only going to grow. Everybody wants to know what the president is thinking what his thoughts are on security, uh, the global crisis, energy crisis, the conflict going on in Ukraine, and how to get you know uh, some semblance of order in all this chaos and uh, the tumbling economy. So you can bet good money that you will see the number of downloads of Truth Social going off the charts, while uh, the number of followers of President Donald Trump will also increase. Uh, the other thing you might notice is that very few people are talking about uh, President Donald Trump, that he's back uh, on social media, specifically on Truth Social, because I think they are afraid that once people realize that President Donald Trump is back, everybody is going to jump on Truth Social and then the app will just go completely off the charts. But... It's slowly getting there, and I think uh, representative, former representative Devin Nunes, who is the CEO of the Trump Media and Technology Group, is fully aware of that. They have planned a controlled you know, opening of the gates. That way the app and the cloud infrastructure is not overwhelmed by too many people getting on the platform at the same time. So far, I think they've done an admirable job and uh, things seem to be working out for the better. So today, again, uh, President, former President Donald Trump was on Truth Social and he made a series of posts. In one of them, he says, and I quote, Truth continues to be number one by a lot. The fake news is going crazy exclamation sign end of quote and that one already has 20,200 retruths which uh, which is the equivalent of a retweet and 82,600 likes and that was done just 16 hours ago and then about four hours ago uh, former president Donald Trump came back on truth social and posted and I quote the Democrats are the party of disinformation the Russia, Russia, Russia scam, impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two, the fake dossier, and so much more. Everything is a lie. But their biggest lie, by far, is the results of the presidential election. They know it, and so does everyone else. Exclamation sign. End quote. That one was posted about four hours ago and so far has had 51,100 likes and 18,500 retruths. 
and uh, there's a lot of commentary below and so far we have 4,400 uh, 4, and 10,000 comments and counting so it's a very very vibrant and active uh, platform and uh, even if you don't agree with the politics of uh, President Donald Trump, I would invite you, if you have an uh, iOS or Apple device, to download the app and, you know, take a, take a peek. Just take a look at the kind of discourse that's taking place on Truth Social. Uh, before you condemn the devil, because they say there's always two sides to a story. Before you condemn the devil, listen to the devil's side of the story at least. And then you make a judgment uh, of what you think is uh, who is right or who is wrong based on, of course, your past history and your principles uh, of the society and the principles of the society in which you live. In this case, the, uh, the standard would be uh, the American Constitution and uh, laws and uh, habits. So there you have it. Uh, looks like Digital World Acquisition Corporation is lining up for a, another, you know, very solid week this uh, coming week. But then again, you never know what might happen. Uh, but I think that uh, by the, the end of this coming week, word will slowly start getting out there that President Trump ultimately is back on social media. And the way you can hear his voice is going to be on Truth Social. Uh, MSNBC, uh CNN and all the major media outlets, uh, the New York Times, the Washington Post, uh, LA Times, they all have to get on Truth Social. That way they can actually read what the president says and not only quote somebody, you know, a third party that I heard that my cousin's co-worker, his <laughs> uncle saw on Truth Social that uh, former President Trump posted uh, such and such a message so that's where we are at today um monday we're gonna see also what's gonna happen with uh twitter unfortunately the stock just took a tumble i don't know the intricacies of how the sale is going to go down uh but i think the final price has been held at uh, 54 dollars 20 cents a share and uh there's also apparently a period of about 60 days, if I'm not mistaken, during which uh, Elon Musk, even if he takes the company private, he cannot do anything drastic. He has to be hands off during that cooling off period or handover period or onboarding period, whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, update that, yeah, President Trump is definitely back. And, uh, of course, <laughs> ever vibrant as uh, you guys have known him. And uh, we will be keeping close watch to see what else he has coming. Um, midterms are around the corner. So, yeah, it's going to be quite... Uh, a roller coaster ride between uh, Twitter and Truth Social as they jostle for the number one spot in uh, as the veritable town hall for America. And why not the world? All right, that's what I had for you guys. Uh, just to let you guys know that, yeah, President Trump is back and active, and uh, Digital World Acquisition Corporation seems to be teeing off to another great blockbuster week uh, coming Monday, tomorrow. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below. Subscribe to the channel. And of course, you have my Truth Social handle in the description. You can subscribe to my channel on there. Bye for now.